appreciate another opportunity to come and be with you once again this year. No better place to be than down at the house of God. You go to a lot of places, but you ain't going to get the satisfaction you'll get when you go to church. This morning, if you got your Bibles, turn with us to the book of John, chapter number 20. And I'll start reading with verse number 26. Be the Gospel of John, chapter 20, and verse 26. <clears throat> Y'all pray for me. My throat's pretty sore. And after eight days again, his disciples were within, and Thomas with him. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace be unto you. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold thy, my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side. And be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered, and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you might have life through his name. Amen. Amen. That's all I want to read this morning. That's all the scripture I got on my mind. Yes, and I want to preach to you most of all, if I can, out of verse number 29, where it says, Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Amen. Amen. We're, we're speaking here, the Bible's talking about a time when there was a man named Thomas, which uh, we all re 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 refer to him as, as old doubting Thomas because he was always a man that had doubt in his heart. and He never really uh, trusted unless he could see it with his own two eyes. And, and you know, we're living in a time today that maybe a uh, uh, men are the same way. They're not going to believe uh, on most anything that you read out of the Bible or, uh, or maybe the preacher will preach about unless they can see it with their own two eyes. And I want to preach to you most of all on that this morning uh, uh, how that you and I as Christians uh, uh, will not believe uh, that the Lord is as powerful and as real as He really is unless we actually see the signs and the wonders of what He's doing uh, or if we've seen Him in person. Uh, but I'm going to tell you today, friend, you're not going to see Him in person down here. Uh, uh, one day Amen. after a while, though, I'm thankful uh, and I will Amen. see Him, bless God, uh, uh, face to face. And I'm thankful today uh, uh, that I have believed on Him. Uh, I don't know about you, I'm but I'm sure. glad today uh, without a shadow of a doubt that I know uh, that there was a man named Jesus Christ uh, uh, that went to a place called Calvary just for you and me, uh, uh, for your sins and my sins this morning, friend. Uh, he went there for us without shame, bless God, uh, and he gave his life for you today. Uh, uh, whether you want to believe that or not, uh, I read it in the book, and the book tells me uh, uh, let God's word be true and every man be a liar. Uh, and I'll say to you today, friend, uh, if they've ever time that we need to believe uh, it's more now than ever uh, I'll say to you you've got lost in your family uh, I've got lost in my family uh, and bless your heart today uh, if they never a time to show them uh, that we believe on Jesus uh, it's now bless God uh, uh, you may say well I'll show it to them tomorrow well honey let me tell you something today uh, uh, being a Christian seven days a week uh, uh, 24 hours a day uh, it's for you and I uh, uh, to show them uh, that there's somebody uh, uh, named Jesus uh, that loves them uh, as much as he loves you today. Uh, what do you mean, preacher? Uh, uh, the Bible says that it's God, uh, uh, God's will that any should perish, uh, uh, that all men should come to repentance. Uh, and I'll say to you today, friend, uh, if it wasn't for Jesus Christ, uh, uh, you and I wouldn't be here today uh, uh, worshiping in this house. We come down to the house of God uh, to worship Him. The Bible says uh, that God is a spirit uh, and those that worship Him uh, must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Uh, and I'll Amen. say to you today, uh, what spirit is that preacher? Uh, old Paul said there, uh, it's the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead uh, that dwells in our mortal bodies. Uh, and I'll say to you, uh, it's the same Holy Ghost uh, 
in him. It's bearded in him through. It's now good God. Oh, you say, well, preacher, I'd like to do a little better. Well, let me tell you something today. You are a blessed people. I just read it today. And bless God, we ought to worship him. The way he expects us to worship him. I'll say to you today, friend, you can be alive for God and on fire for him if you want to. Or you can be dead and dried up. And the life you're burning. And I'll say, bless God, if there's ever a time that you need to let a fire of God begin to burn in your soul, it's now, glory to God. It ain't tomorrow. It's today, bless God. I'll say to you this evening, and bless God, you ought to be on fire for him. We've got something to rejoice for. We've got everything today. Without him, you don't have anything. And thank God today that he gave his life for you and me. And I'm glad for that. Bless God as a Christian, we've got something that we ought to be working for. And that's to see our lost saint today. Oh, what do you say, brother? Oh, a lot of us. Oh, we're going to get there in a minute, church. You just bear with me. Oh, a lot of us today. Oh, we get away from the Lord, don't we? How we get away from the good things of God? Oh, we got a lot of little gadgets in our hands today. Oh, a lot of things on the computer that will draw us away from the good Lord. Oh, what are you saying, brother? Oh, the Bible says over in Revelation chapter number 2, I had somewhat against you because you've left that first love. Hey, what is that first love? That's the day you got saved. Oh, I see something missing when I go down to the house of God. Don't you, friend? Yeah, I'm in and a lot of churches. I'm in and out of a lot of revivals and so forth. But I see something missing down at the house of God. What is it, preacher? It's you, honey. That's what's a missing down at the house of God. Oh, what are you saying, brother? Oh, we leave that first love. And my God, what was that first love? That's when you first got saved. Oh, you remember a time when you first was born again. Yes, glory to God. You know what I'm talking about today. Oh, you remember a time when you tell the lost about Jesus. Yes, you did. Oh, I know you did, friend. Oh, but God. Oh, we've left that first love. Oh, what do you mean, brother? A time now. If you compare the two, ain't it much different between daylight and dark? Oh, we don't have to the law to the house of God anymore. Well, honey, I'm going to tell you something today. If you ain't got no more to offer than what somebody you may have, ain't a bit of need to invite them down to the house of God. But glory to God this morning, if there's ever a time that you and I I need to be a light unto them. It's more now yeah. than ever. Well, glory to God. Oh, what do you say, brother? Oh, that first love. Oh, when you first got saved. But bless God. Oh, you came down to the altar. Oh, your soul is black as a sun on the hill. And Jesus applied the blood to your soul. And you was washed as white as snow. Oh, what do you say, brother? And then bless your heart. Oh, we let sin slip in. We let uh, things in this world uh, begin to take control of us. Uh, we quit reading the book. Uh, we quit reading the Bible. Uh, and bless God, the first thing you know, uh, the old devil uh, will rob you of your testimony. Uh, and the next time you turn around, uh, you won't have a song on your lips anymore. Uh, oh, what do you mean, brother? Uh, and the next thing you know, uh, you won't be down at the house of God. Uh, for prayer meeting night. And when he gets prayer meeting away from you, uh, he'll take you away from Sunday night. And whenever he gets that Sunday night, if you ain't mighty careful, uh, he'll take Sunday morning too. Uh, you give the devil an inch uh, and he'll take a mile. Well, what do you mean, brother? I'm a saying, bless God, that the book says to give no place to the devil. Uh, bless your heart today. Uh, ain't too many out there. Uh, giving him all he wants. And then son, oh, what do you mean, brother? I'm a talking about. You may think 
well. Oh, it ain't too bad. I just missed one sermon. Well, let me tell you something today. If you miss one, you're likely to miss two. And after you missed about three, you're ashamed of yourself. And you won't go back. Well, praise God. Well, let me tell you something today, honey. The Bible says, repent and do ye first words. Remember, for when thou art fallen, yes, glory to God. And repent and do ye first words over. Or else I'll come and remove the candlestick out of its place. Well, what are you talking about there? Well, I'm a talking about tonight. And I believe I preached upon some of this. But maybe last week. And I'm a talking about. Well, you remember when you had a fire of God in you that this world couldn't put out. Whenever, bless God, you had witnessed to the law. When you'd sit down no matter what. And you'd read the Word of God. And bless God, you remember a time when the power of God was so real in your life. And bless God, you could feel it. Amen. You know it was real. You know it was there. You know there was something there that the world could take away from you. Let me tell you something today, honey. If you've been born again, God put a joy in your heart that this world won't take Amen. away from you. And let me tell you something. It don't take you six months uh, to realize uh, that you're not living like you ought to. Uh, what do you mean, brother? Uh, oh, that spirit will talk to you. Uh, no, uh, it'll let you know uh, when you're not doing right. Uh, it'll tell you uh, uh, whenever. Uh, and bless God, you're in sin. Uh, it'll Amen. also tell you uh, when you're living like Amen. you ought to live. Uh, oh, what do you say, brother? Uh, ain't come to time. Uh, ain't some Christian's life. Uh, and bless God, they need to come back to the altar and Amen. say, Lord, I've left my first love. Would you just save me all over again? Uh, what do you mean, brother? Why have you felt that love in your life in the past while? Oh, Lord, let's talk about it today. They some ain't felt in years. They don't know what it was. Well, let me tell you something today. If you don't have a joy in your heart and the love of God in you, you need to get born again. Right. Well, praise Amen. His holy name. What are you saying, brother? Ain't a lot of professions made today. Ain't a lot of professions made. But they ain't much of possessing it today. That's what I'm talking about. If you're going to profess it, bless God. You ought to possess it. It ought to be in your soul. Oh, glory to God today. I'm thankful for the man that died for me. I'm thankful today for the spirit that I can feel. Oh, you're just a crazy little preacher. You call me what you want to. I don't care. But thank God I know one thing for sure. I've been born again. And I know that one day, after a while, glory to God, I can see him face to face. I don't have to be like old Downton Thomas or none of them. But thank God today, I believe upon him. Why is it, preacher? Because there's a spirit that tells me that I'm a child of God today. That I've been born again. What are you talking about? Oh, that man named Jesus Christ that died for you and me. Oh, on Calvary. Oh, he gave every step drop of blood that he had for your soul. That's what I'm talking about today. Oh, we don't have nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, Paul said that in one place, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Heard of the power of God unto salvation. Oh, what are you talking about? Oh, the less ashamed you are of him, the more power you'll have. Amen. Oh, let me tell you, one reason the Great church Lord. don't have no power today is they're ashamed of the man that died for them. Right. What do you say, brother? Oh, when you come down to the house of God, oh, do you want to hear the song designed being sung? Or do you just want to come down to the house of God? Amen. Oh, do you want to hear the word of God being preached? Or do we want to just come down to the house of God? Amen. I don't know about you, but they a love in my soul. Amen. I to hear them song designed and to hear the word of God by being preached down at the house of God. Oh, what do you mean, brother? Oh, we'll all sit back and say, 
I'd love to be in one of them. Oh, tiny babies. Well, let me tell you something today, honey. Well, you can be. Well, how do you do that, brother? I'm going to tell you where it starts. I repent to your first word. Amen. That's where it can start at today. Oh, you hear me today. And get back to where you want to die, boy. With the Lord. I gain your joy back. And not let the devil hold you back today. Oh, what are you saying, brother? Let's get in here and worship God. In spirit and in truth. If you want the old tiny meetings, the one reason you don't have them is because you're not asking. The Bible says you ask and you'll receive. Well, praise God. What are you saying, brother? It's all in God's storehouse this morning. Oh, you hear me today. It's all right down there. If you'll ask for it, you can have it. Oh, He wants you to have these things. He wants you to feel the love of God right down in your soul again. Oh, glory to God today. I'm thankful, praise God, for what I've done. I'm thankful today for what I can feel. Oh, preacher, I don't feel the way you do. Well, that's okay, honey. Then you come on down here and I'll tell you where I'll find something. That'll make you feel like I'm a villain. That'll make you feel like a new person again. That'll make you go to church 19 days out of the month. That's what it'll do for your soul. What do you say, brother? Oh, you hear me today. My God put love over the house of God in my soul. Oh, you hear me today. He put love in there. And I'll pray for the Lord. How long has it been since you prayed for your lost loved one? Oh, in the middle of the night. And a burden for them. Amen. Oh, glory to God. And you wake up. And have them on your mind. And you know, praise God, that they was there. In an awful place. You hear me today? Imagine this today. You're lost to be in. Oh, in a place, bless God, called hell. What is that preacher? It's an awful place I've read about. Oh, we're blessed God. That there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Oh, how long has it been since you had a burden for them? I wake up in the middle of the night. I'm worrying about them going to that awful place. Oh, what do you mean, brother? Oh, you hear me today, friend. The Bible said, I don't know good to do it not. It is a sin. Oh, what do you mean, brother? It's good to pray for your life. Stated. It's good to pray for them at home as well as at the church. Oh, you hear me this morning. Oh, you hear me today. Ain't nothing that tickles the devil any better than to see you sin right in the house of God. Yes, glory to God. How many times have you quenched the Spirit of God? My God laid a testimony on your heart and you wouldn't testify for Him. It's glory to God. How many times has he told you to get up and sing a song and glorify him and you wouldn't do it? Yes, that's what we're talking about today. How to do good and do it not. The Bible says it's a sin. Oh, bless your heart today. I'm a talking about today. I get back to where you started. You gained that first blood. That joy that was in your heart at one time. That's no longer there today. Well, glory to God. Ain't you glad today that Jesus died for you and me? Oh, you hear me? He took all the shame he had there up on the old rugged cross for you and me. And bless God, I'm here to tell you, I'm coming down to the house of God and worshiping Him in spirit and in truth the least we can do. The Bible says let us not forsake it by the assembling of ourselves together. Yes, glory to God. On Sunday morning, I don't know about you, but there's something in my side of me that tells me I get up from there and get your Sunday clothes on. It's time to go to church. Oh, let me tell you today. Oh, glory to God. And I'm here to tell you this morning that some bless God may be come dragging in at 10 after 10 and 15 after 11 for preaching. But glory to God. I don't know about you, but there's something inside of me that tells me get down there and study the Word. There's a teaching of the Word. There's a song designed being sung. What is two words out of a week? Well, glory to God. After He died for you, what two words of your time? 
Hey, you that ain't praying, but you wouldn't have that time if it wasn't given to you. And that's the least we can do is give back to him a little bit of our time. Oh, glory to God. I'm here to tell you today, church, if they never a time that you need to get right and get on fire for God, it's today. Well, bring it out of tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. I'm not giving you an invitation for it tomorrow. I'm giving you an invitation today. Thank glory to God. If you need to pray this morning, I want you to understand that the altar's not closed when I preach. If you need to pray, you can go. If you're not dead little like you are too, you ought to get out here and get it off your chest. And we can have service today. I wouldn't have to preach this way to you. We can just go right on with the service. But thank God this morning, if they never a time that you need to get down to business with the Lord, then now, brothers and sisters, well, preacher, I'll pray for my lost tomorrow. Well, glory to God, what's wrong with the day? Yes, the Bible says, pray without ceasing. Yes, that's exactly what it says. Oh, well, I'll pray Monday. Well, Monday may be too late. Right. Tomorrow may be too late. Oh, there was somebody out there that prayed for your soul. There was somebody out there that prayed for my soul. And the least we can do is to pray for the lost. Yes, praise God. I'm here to tell you today, friend, it's time that we really got serious about this thing. I remember a time when you went down to the house of God and bless God, the people didn't have much. They barely had a home. They just barely had an automobile to get to church in. And I've seen the time as a young boy growing up. And bless God, that first love didn't die out in her soul Amen. like it does ours. Amen. Bless God, I've seen a time when you'd come down to the house of God and they'd be a testifying. They'd be a singing. And they'd be a shouting up and down the aisle. Oh, what are you saying, brother? I remember being in this church as a young boy. And just a little bitty boy. And the shouting would go on. And the testimony would be there. I don't remember much about it because I was small. But I do remember that they had a joy in their heart. Well, glory to God. They had joy down inside of them. Yes, what was it, preacher? Oh, the Bible says that's for the old man. And walk therein. Well, glory to God if you ask for it today. Oh, what do you mean, brother? How long has it been this morning? Since you've been able to shout. How long has it been this morning? Since you've been able to stand up and testify. And the tears run down your cheek. Yeah, glory to God. And the old man. Uh, we're all looking for something new today. Oh, oh Lord. Lord of God, God ain't changed. He said I'm the same. Uh, yesterday, uh, today and forever. Uh, I'm here to tell you today, uh, we're serving the same God our Father served uh, and their Father served. Uh, and I'm here to tell you, honey, uh, we're serving the same God uh, that Abraham served. Uh, he still is real today. Uh, he's a true and living God. Uh, what do you say, brother? We are the children this morning of yeah. a true and living God. We are to act that way. Yeah. We've got a joy in our soul. And we are not let a die out today. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Lord. Oh, that gets dim in our lives. It's dim from time to time. Lord. We'll let the old devil just cheat us right out of everything he can get. And there ain't nothing tickles him no more. And to see him cheat you right out of it, right at the house of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just struck you. Tell you now, you don't That's need to sing Jesus. this morning. Man. You don't need to testify today. Oh, you ain't got nothing to be happy about. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the way he works with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll rob you of it. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Well, preacher, I, maybe I ain't just as strong as one time I was. Bless the Lord. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're not a stronger Christian as one time you was. Thank you, Lord. And I'll tell you what, you can come and find your first love again. Amen. Mm -hmm. Repent and do your first works. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What are you talking about, preacher? I'm 
talking about when it starts. Right at the house of God, we, not long ago, we had a baptized and had eight baptized, rededications, and some saved, and some just wanted to do it all over again. Mm -hmm. You ever felt like you just wanted to do it all over again? Yes, you more. Yes, Amen. It's all right. That joy that you one time had. Yes. It's no longer in your heart anymore. Yes, oh, the devil will slip a lot of things on you. Come on, brother. Preach. Amen. Amen. He'll slip Amen. things right in on you. Sure. First thing you know, sure. you ain't praying. Oh, he likes to get that prayer alive. Sure. You know why? Because that's your communication between you and your Amen. God. That's what that is. You'll take that prayer life first off. Then the first thing you know, you ain't at the house of God on Wednesday. Then you'll slip up and not go on Sunday night. You know, every church you have a revival and you won't go. Amen. Amen. Now I'm getting right down where the rubber meets the road. All right. We won't go. But do you remember a time when you used to would? Uh -huh. Amen. When you used to would go, if I preach in the morning, it'd be 19 times in one month. When God calls a man to do anything or work for him, I'll grant you one day. He'll give you some more to do it. Amen. Sure will. Amen. Amen. And I'm here to tell you today, friend, Thank you. it takes obedience. Amen. It takes obedience, and you've got to say, yes, Lord, I'll do. That's right. What was it Abraham said whenever God spoke to him? He said, here am I. Amen. How long has it been since the Lord wanted you to do something? He said, yes, Lord, now here I am. I'll be glad to do that. Uh, we get away from that first love and that love that we had when we first started. The first thing you know is, well, Lord, I don't know if that's the right thing to do this morning or not. I don't know if I should say that or not. You know, the next thing you know, preaching service is going to. We've dismissed and we went home. We go home and we say, well, if I just... I obeyed the Lord this morning and I just said what He wanted me to. I, I, we might get a hand meeting. Well, honey, I'm going to tell you something today. You might be the key to this meeting this morning. Amen. Yes, Lord. It might be you. I'm not taking credit for anything I've done. Amen. What I do is through the Lord. Yes. Right. I have to be obedient to stand and preach. If I wouldn't, I wouldn't preach five minutes. I couldn't do it myself. Amen. But it's got to be done through Him. And why, why are you saying this, preacher? It's because I haven't seen him. I haven't stuck my finger through his nail-scarred nail hands. That's right. I haven't stuck my fist through his side. But I say it because I believe on him. Yeah. And when that spirit talks to me, I know how to say yes. Amen. Yes, what about you this morning? Thank you, Jesus. Be obedient. I feel like the Lord's finished with me now. I know it ain't a long message, but I'm delivering my heart to you. I spoke to you what the Lord laid on my heart. It's all right. And I do believe in Him. I do believe in Him. He saved my soul. That's enough evidence. That's your Lord. Thank you. How do you know He saved you, preacher? I came to the altar with tears of sorrow. Sorrow. When I got up, I had tears of joy in my eyes. Amen. 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 I no longer had the same tongue I used to have. Amen. I didn't say the things I used to say. Bless you, Lord. Well, preacher, it was hard for me. I'll be honest with you, friend, it was hard for me too. For just a little while. But boy, when I'd make a mistake, I sure know where to go to. I didn't just go on for a week at a time and continue in that. Yeah, come on. Because if I wouldn't have repented then when it happened, first thing you know, I've been doing it again. And then, first thing you know, it wouldn't be happening again. Yeah, and friend, I'm going to tell you something. You've let sin slip in long enough. Come on. And I'm going to tell you right straight up. You let the devil slip in, and I'm going to tell you right now. The Lord and the devil will not dwell in the same house. Amen. And I'm going to tell you something. You let sin keep slipping in, slipping in, slipping in, and the Lord's going to move out. Amen. He's going to remove that candlestick. 
Yeah. There won't be no fire in your life anymore to tell you That's you're doing wrong. That's right. The devil will say, go ahead. Go ahead and do these things. It'll be all right. There won't be no condemnation there. Because the Spirit of God has not left you. You'll know that you've done wrong. But that Spirit's done God. That's right. It's not going to stay there. And I'm glad today that I'm saved. Been born again. Bless you, Lord. If you ain't felt the joy of God in your life in a while, let me encourage you this morning. Let's come and find it. We've lost it. Amen. And remember where Wednesday I've fallen. Remember where your joy was? Remember where your shout was? You. Remember where your testimony was? Remember where you laid all that down at? Let's come pick it up this morning, Brian. Amen. As we all come to our feet, I'll deliver my soul to you. The Lord's finished with me.